Hi, meteorologist Tony Petrock in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. It is, um, what time is it? About 4.30 in the afternoon, giving you a quick update on a, a coastal storm headed our way, but really not until later on this evening, especially uh, during the overnight hours. This will be rain, wind, and some uh, scattered thunderstorms. In the meantime, heading out this evening, it's just cloudy, cool, and dry. Uh, you look at the high temperatures today, much like yesterday, topping out in the upper 40s to 52 in Taunton made it to uh, 49 degrees uh, in the Providence area. So temperatures tonight, of course, will stay well above freezing, so we're not dealing with any snow or ice. However, by late tomorrow night, late Friday night, there's actually the chance for, oh, some snow showers. So here's the deal. A stormy later on this evening and during the overnight. Um, I think the, the heaviest rain and the best chance for any thunder from roughly 11 o'clock until 5 a.m. You know, the good news, this is all out of here, at least the heavy rain. Uh, by the morning commute on Friday, though, we'll have lingering showers on Friday. It should be lighter, uh, some uh, gusty wind overnight tonight. In fact, I think the strongest winds will actually be Friday evening, Friday night into Saturday. Saturday's a dry day, but boy, it's very windy. So Friday night, Saturday, gust between 40 and 45 miles per hour. So Sunday's clearly the pick day. I mean, there's less wind. Uh, it's, it's milder with sunshine. We're forecasting temps that'll be well into the 50s uh, on Friday afternoon. So here's the latest radar as of this taping, as of 4.30, um, almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You see the bulk of the rain is still out towards New York City and uh, points uh, south and west. So area of low pressure storm is along the uh, Delmarva intensifying. Now this is going to track north and east. And quite simply, this will be our heavy rain, some thunder, and some gusty wind during the overnight uh, into the pre-dawn hours. And then ending, at least the, the heavy precipitation, uh, by, I'm thinking, 5 o'clock in the morning. So the morning commute will be wet, the roads will be wet, but the, the showers and the rain, the intensity of the rain uh, by the morning commute on Friday uh, should be lighter. These are the temperatures as of late this afternoon, and while it's cool, not cold enough, at least for tonight, for any snow, but it will turn cold a Friday night, and we'll see, I think, some snow showers. Let's put this into motion. Starting off now, you see the storm tracking north and east. You see that ribbon of yellow and uh, orange and red? Uh, the heavier downpours and even some thunderstorms offshore will start to rotate inland. So late at night after midnight, uh, the rumble of thunder. By 6 o'clock in the morning, it's still wet, but the, the, notice the real heavy rain and thunder denoted in yellow. It, it, it's pinwheeled up to our north. So uh, that'll be north of our area by Friday morning. Now the blue represents snow. Look at the backside of the storm by uh, Friday afternoon up in northern New England, and by Friday night, later Friday night here, we're actually changing over to uh, some snow showers, and uh, not out of the question to get some small slushy accumulations later uh, Friday night. Uh, in the meantime, we're getting real close, and we'll track things uh, locally, hour by hour, and for this evening, uh, you know, initially we're dry. Uh, the precipitation coming in uh, between roughly uh, 10 and midnight, the areas of yellow and red indicating some downpours and thunder. This is about 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 a.m., heavy rain and wind and thunder, temps that are in the 40s. And then notice by 5 o'clock in the morning, that band of heavier rain is lifting up uh, to the north, and so the, uh, the heavier precipitation should be gone. This is 6 o'clock in the morning. So the morning commute will be wet, roads are wet, some showers, but not nearly as heavy. As we take you into uh, the afternoon, a bit of a lull, low 40s, the wind starts to pick up. Still keep the umbrella nearby for a, a passing shower. And then notice by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, temperatures dropping off and the little shades of blue by 11 o'clock Friday night. Ouch! That is uh, snow and some snow showers late on Friday night. Now this is not a snowstorm. However, late, late Friday night, north and west of the city, that thin, that light blue shading uh, it represents maybe a thin slushy coating of snow. And the hills of northeast Connecticut and far northwest Rhode Island, Foster, Gloucester, these elevations are around six, seven, eight hundred feet. These higher elevations will be colder, not out of the question late Friday night to pick up maybe one to two inches of snow. Good news, this time of year the snow has a shelf life of about three, four hours by uh, Saturday, anything, that, anything that's on the ground will melt. So for this evening, initially dry, and then we'll bring in some of the uh, uh, showers uh, later in the evening, then much heavier rain overnight. Tomorrow morning, heavy rain is gone, but lingering showers continue. Less wind, at least initially, there'll be a lull in the wind uh, Friday morning, uh, 42 to start the day. Uh, chance of a of passing shower Friday afternoon, not a lot of rain. Uh, temperatures in the upper 40s, but the wind starts to pick up late day and early evening, and this sets the stage for the, uh, the old wind machine to really kick in by Friday night and um, 
into Saturday. So our threat tracker for tonight is elevated to yellow for obvious reasons. Gusty rain, uh, wind, and some... Um, some isolated thunderstorms. Uh, Friday night, we'll bump it up to yellow for some rain and snow showers, some strong wind gusts, maybe a slushy coating north and west of the city. Now, Saturday's actually a dry day. We'll keep it low-level green, but not, would not surprise me to get a wind advisory issued for Saturday. I think the winds should be pretty strong in gusts. It's a colder day. It's not real comfortable, even though it's dry with a little bit of sunshine. Uh, clearly, as we look at the seven-day forecast, uh, Sunday's the pick day. It's, it's bright. It's warmer. There's less wind with temperatures well into the 50s. Make the most of it because another significant cool down for next week as temperatures cool back into the lower 40s. So that's the latest. Dry this evening. The storm overnight ending uh, the intensity winding down early Friday morning. And then we start to pick up the winds Friday night into Saturday. Check back with us this evening on Eyewitness News for updates. Then, of course, tonight at 10 o'clock on Fox Providence and again at 11 o'clock on WPRI Channel 12. Thanks for logging in and we'll talk soon.